He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Well, I don't think I understood it at first. And when my daughter was in college, I understood that they actually taught. There's, I think, a book called uh, something, uh, Chainsaws, and that is a text. And that the term final girl, I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard it until I was sent a pilot called Final Girls about a woman who sort of rounded up a little bit like X-Men, a little bit like Avengers, where she rounded up the final girls from all over the country. And they created a sort of force so there were no more final girls. It was terrific, written by a guy named Jeff Dixon. And so I wasn't really aware of the final girl phenomenon until then, which was not that long ago. I understand it now because there have been so many movies made after the fact where there's the, la you know, what is, what is the phrase, the last man standing, L you know, the last final girl standing. Um, I do understand it. I'm not sure I really conceptually have a, a feeling about it, except, I mean, I'm so old and I'm still doing it so that I feel like Laurie Strode has been a final girl apparently for a very long time, for 42 years. Memoir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, I saying. So I, that I would say that I don't attach to the final girl idea. <laughs> I understand it exists from a intellectual idea. Um, I'm not sure I ever really, I don't think I own a t-shirt that says, you know, final girl. That can change. I'm embarrassed to say I'd never even heard the term final girl until we were making the 2018 Halloween. And our amazing producer, Ryan Turek, who's also the biggest horror fan in the yes. world, like just hung his head down when I was like, what's a final girl? And he was Did just you like, do it like Judy. That? In that I try voice? to, yeah. Wow. That's a final that's girl. That's a final girl. He was so sad. He was so pained that I didn't know that. And he was like, we need to start your education, Judy. Um, so that's when I, I learned what a final girl was when I was the final girl. But I think you have to have perspective of it. If you have been a fan of these movies, if you're aware that there is a similar link in the chain and that the link is that there's always a final girl, I think from a outside perspective, I can really understand why someone would be interested in that phenomenon being the, in this case, the original one, the in this yeah. little OG action. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I have the perspective to offer much, you know, interesting commentary. I think it's fun to see the people that we look up to and admire and are excited about, to see like, where are they at? Like, where are they, where are they now? I mean, is essentially what we do with this woman who kicks all this ass and, and can live to tell the tale. And then we catch up with her 40 years later and we see that she has like, sequestered herself, she has trained herself, she has groomed herself into a killer and a hunter in the way that her, you know, ultimate nemesis Michael Myers has also done. I think mm -hmm. that like, we see someone who's actually turned herself into her tormentor. But like most women, we don't believe her. And I think it's interesting what, you know, it's not like Laurie Strode, you know, went to school and studied psychology and got a mm. lot of therapy and went to Al-Anon and AA and did all the steps of all the programs and is now teaching classes. And people are like, oh, let me ask you a question. Like, no, she's like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Well, because she was the only one, no one who believed that yeah. he would come. And that he was still after her and he was still, yes, that he was still gonna come back. And I think for so many of us that experience a trauma early in our life, like 
you can't, it's, you can't, I don't know how you get over something like that. Well, I mean, it, what just popped in my mind was, you know, all these women that came forward with Harvey Weinstein, nobody believed them. The, the, nobody would take them seriously they until them. they put their name on the line, those three first women who put their name on the line with Ronan Farrow. Now, everybody else would say, I can't, I can't risk my career by putting my name on this. And there's something about not being understood and people thinking you're crazy mm -hmm. that is in itself violence. But because as soon as you, in the movie, you realize what's going on and that it's real, can you imagine how you would feel? To me, that's the same thing that happens with a final girl who just isn't understood. Someone's coming. Hold her. I got her. I got her. Go. Go, baby, go. Lori and Karen are exactly where we left them, in the back of a truck with Lori bleeding out from a stomach wound. Yeah. And so Lori is rendered impotent in the ability to fight for herself. But what's beautiful is to watch the transformation of Karen, who spent 2018 saying, you're crazy. Yeah, don't come around me. Don't, don't come, come around, around me. Family. You're dangerous. And being immediately and like. And then the entire second movie yeah. is really Karen's evolution, both the grief of the guilt mm -hmm. of not believing her, of challenging her mother all those years. Mm -hmm. And now here her mother is near death. Mm -hmm. And there's beautiful work mm -hmm. by this one of having to understand that yeah. and, and realize she may lose her mother. And protect you. And then once her mother survives, she then goes into full yeah. protection mode for her mother and her daughter. And it's a beautiful role reversal, I would say, in the movie. It's, 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 a, it's a beautiful portrayal. I will tell you. We killed Michael. My grandmother set the fire. No one told you. <gasps> told me what? Michael Myers is alive. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? Because as I just said, <laughs> Lori is now, Lori is a wounded bird. Lori can't fight for herself. No. Off the top. She can't. And so Karen. Somebody's got to. And Karen, with all of the shame of her bad, her bad yeah. past yeah. behavior, yeah. with all of the rage, that this is the reality, that this man took her husband, that this yeah. man almost killed her mother, that this man yeah. um, has, has <laughs> put her daughter in abject terror. <laughs> this mama bear moves forward in a very powerful way.